problem. I've got a confession. I'm a woolaholic. It's Wednesday, so it must be another needle felting supplies and equipment review. I make these every Wednesday, so if this is something you like, don't forget to come back every Wednesday, give us a like and hit subscribe down below. So you started felting and you're getting overrun with wool already. What's the best way to store these things? I've tried over my nearly 10 years in needle felting, many ways to try and store my wool. When you just start out, a nice box or something will do, but the problem with that is you can't easily see what colours you've got, so I seem to have an obsession with buying too much of the same wool. I ended up having a phase of buying an absolute metric ton of greys thinking I didn't have any grey wool, only to look and find out that, yes, I had lots. I had all the grey. So a good solution I've found is to try and have a method of storing your wool that actually lets you see how much wool you've got of each colour, lets you see the colours in advance and store it somewhere that's handy but tidy. So one thing that I've found that's really useful is these over the door shoe tidies. They're great because you can close the door and the wool's gone. It lets you see the colours because the outside's see-through so you can store your wool. Now sorry for the OCD amongst you in my in mine it's not exactly colour coordinated. I try and then I start working and shove them back in any old order and every now and again I clear them out and sort them out again. But as you can see it gives me an idea of what colours I'm lacking in and what I need more of. Obviously when you've got a problem as bad as mine, one over the door shoe hanger is not going to be enough. But it's handy for me that I can have small quantities of my bigger supplies of wool all nice and handy and I'm able to see them and then I still know what I need to order and what I've got plenty of and I can store the larger quantities hidden away in boxes and things elsewhere in the house. Now like I've said in all of my videos I'm not sponsored for any of these. These are just things that I've purchased over the years and I find useful or not useful. I'll have a link in the description below for a product similar to this in my Amazon affiliate store. This doesn't cost you anything extra. I'm not sponsored for it, but it does help my channel and help me to be able to produce more videos for you guys. So what I like about these hangers, it seems to fit just about every type of door. I have it just now over a small cupboard under the stairs door, which is really handy. Just shut it over and it's all gone. But it also fits full size doors. It's relatively easy, a little fiddly to put up. There's three hooks that go through the top of the hanger and then they go up over the door and they're not really attached they just go through holes in the fabric so it's probably easier to get someone else to help you out with it because you get like two over and one falls off it's a little fiddly but still good fun it's a good strong man-made fabric i've had this for about five years now it's holding up really well and you can actually stuff in a surprising amount of wool so they're really handy keeping you tidy letting you see what you've got. So Ben McFuzzy Lugs approved. If you've outgrown your regular storage, you haven't got industrial amounts of wool quite yet, and you just want to be able to visually at a glance, see what stock you've got, what colours you're short of, then this is a great way just to keep all your wool at hand in and in one place. So if you let me know in the comments below, are you a woolaholic like me and what do you use to store all your wool? Have you tried the over the door shoe holders and how are you finding them? So thank you so much for joining me. Please come again next Wednesday. I hope this helps you. Okay, bye.